Hello everyone, welcome to English Digi Tutor. So today we will learn how to make a custom chain in Maya. So you can use this for making so many things like uh, cycle chain or any repetitive things. So for this I am taking one curve pb curve and giving some shape so in which way i want my chain should be uh, position or oriented so some curve i took now i will create a manual chain Then I will select and go for combine and for modify and make it a center pivot and I will position it now I will select the chain body and the curve so go to animation animate motion path attach to motion path so once I attach to motion path it will travel in along the curve so but as this animation taken by the software so what I will do uh, either the starting of the animation sorry the starting of the animation I can go to animation settings and from here I can make it linear or else after the animation done you can go to animation animation editor graph editor I will select this one and I will select and I will give a linear tangent because by default it has taken some ease in and ease out for both the points. So I will give a linear tangent. Now there is no um, ease in, ease out. It's an even distribution. So the speed will be same for starting and ending. Now okay, I will select the curve. I will go to motion path and we have some twist option from where i can manipulate the side up twist according to our need so that it will not travel in this particular twist angle now i'll select the curve go to animate and here i will get some option called create animation snapshot we'll go to the settings of that and this is the increment value so distance between the snapshot basically it will create some snapshot according to the animation so i'm just applying so uh, there is some gap here i need less gap so what i will do i will again control z this one i will go for point 0.8 and this is trial and error method you have to check if it's coming properly or not so i'll make it just 0.75 I think it will work yeah. and anytime I can select the curve you can go to motion path and if you want some front twist or some twisting you can manually manipulate that so, yeah. so it's a very nice curve once it is done select the curve you can manually move or position the chain 